when you start this and you're so young, you, you really don't understand how you're doing what you're doing so often or why anything works. You just know that you get up there and scream your head off and then you hope you don't lose your voice afterwards. But um, there's this thing that I didn't know it had a term and I didn't know anyone else did it, but I would always do it first thing in the morning. And it's just like, you just kind of like check your range real quick to see what notes you're capable of. And it's, you can almost do like under your breath. Like, <clears throat> it's called sirening. And a lot of singers do it just to kind of see where they're at and like what they need to focus on during that day. And it really becomes just like a quick checklist of, okay, what can I hit? What can I hit in these four or five notes? Uh, and then, you know, that's what, that's what you make your concern for the rest of the day. When you're on tour, you have to be uh, very conscious of, of your longevity and your stamina because you know that you have to do it for an hour each night for a month. But in the studio, you know that you're probably going to be there for about a week. So you tend to just go really, really hard in the studio and definitely not the best or most un uh, most comfortable for, for a vocalist as far as I'm concerned or anybody that I've talked to about it. But, you know, you need to capture that on, on, on record and, and make sure that the record that you put out is kind of timeless and has this energy to it. Just tell myself to get more sleep. I, I honestly, and that would definitely probably help me psychologically in the future too. But I feel like when I was young and this band started, I, I was on tour to party and then oh shit, we have to play a show too. But that's at the bottom of the priorities. That's just the thing that gets us on this tour. We're, I'm here to have a good time like 23 hours out of the day and then maybe I'll worry about playing for one. As I got older and I realized that, you know, there was other bands that were also hungry for what we were hungry for and uh, I needed us to stick out and I needed, um, you know, to not embarrass myself on stage. I, I realized that like, when you, when you walk out of your door to go on tour, that's you going to work. And your shift does not end until you come home from that tour. Every day on tour is dedicated to the show now. Like, every minute of every day is, is this going to fuck up my voice? If so, I'm not doing it. You know what I mean? There's no partying after anymore. It's pretty much relaxing and then straight to bed and waking up. Like I said, doing a little vocal check, having tea, um, making sure I stay hydrated, and then just sleep. Uh, and more sleep is is the best thing you can do for your voice. Yeah, days off will fucking kill you because as soon as you find your groove, then you lose it. But um, so that that was another thing that I kind of had to realize in that you really need to give yourself almost every day off. Like you really need to rest. We used to look forward to days off because that was the day that we wouldn't party. You know what I mean? Okay, now we're just going to lay in the hotel room or the, whatever, stay at a friend's house and not fucking move, not put clothes on, just sit in our pajamas all day and watch movies. I just wish I had started taking it more seriously sooner because I feel like all this great stuff that I'm finding in life and as a result of the band now, I feel like I probably could have had for longer had I just had a little self-awareness and be like, hey, take this shit seriously. Like, this is your this is your job. This, this is what you're leaving your friends and family for, so take it seriously, you know? So, that's what I'm doing. Otis Redding. Otis Redding is my favorite vocalist, hands down. I mean... That he is, he is just, a, he's the embodiment of soul. I mean, that's ev everything about him. Uh, his lyrics, his performance, I mean, his delivery. Perfect vocalist. So, yeah. I love that it's like no frills and the packaging and design is just so bold and great. And this sounds so stupid, but like when I, uh, when I first saw it and it was in like the, it, the bag that looks like a manila envelope, it feels like you're opening like important documents or you're about to get a gift that arrives in the mail. You know what I mean? So this stuff is, uh, and I'm not saying this because you're here, it, it's, it's been a lifesaver. I mean, there's been instances where the, the one thing I, I do know about my voice is that um, right before I'm about to get sick, my voice will sound the best that it's it's capable of so when I have like a the, it's unfortunate because when I have a really good show that means that sickness is on the horizon um, and so when that happens I, I, I just buckle down with your stuff I mean really I, I go on vocal rest uh, I try to sleep at least like eight or nine hours a night and I just drink your tea